All right, Algebra Half, we are looking at lesson 110 today. And 110 is on markups and markdowns. So I always try to let you guys know when we're going to be doing lessons that you are going to be using in real life. And this is one of those lessons. So think about how often you go to a store and you see something uh, that's for sale and are on sale and you need to know how much it costs to see if you can afford it. Well, this is one of those concepts that is con considered consumer math and you will be using your whole life. So there's a couple things you need to know. First of all, you need to pay attention to whether something's being marked up or marked down. You need to be able to calculate a percentage, which uh, we've been working on and we will review again today. And then you also need to remember those is of statements. So when we have word problems, a lot of the times it makes our lives a lot easier if we can rephrase it in an is of statement because we know is means equals and of means multiplication. So if we can do an is of statement, we can easily write an equation so that we can solve the problem. So we're going to go through three examples, one mark up, one mark down, and one of how to find the original price if something's marked down. <laughs> So we're going to start with a mark up, I believe. Yes, so example 110.1 says, Mr. Franklin bought new dresses for $40 each. He marked each dress up 150%. What was the price he charged his customers? So I like to take notes when we do word problems. So the first thing I'm going to note is that we're marking up 150%. And the original price is $40. So the is of statement that I'm going to make is, what is 150% of 40? And so what is 150% of means multiplication, $40. Now, I need to recognize that because this 150 is attached to a percent symbol, that I can't just multiply 40 by 150 and get the right answer. 150% has to be turned either into a decimal or a fraction. You guys generally prefer a decimal, so I'm going to do this problem changing it into a decimal. Now, we know that percent means out of 100. So to turn this into a decimal, we're going to divide it by 100. Okay? And 100, we know that when we divide by powers of 10, which means ones, a 1 and zeros, that we move the decimal place over two times I'm sorry, one time for every zero in the divisor. There are two zeros in 100, so we're going to move the decimal place over two places, and then we can drop the percent symbol. So we're going to go 1, 2, and drop the percent symbol. So now we have 1.5 times $40. Okay? Now, uh -huh, 1.5 times 40 equals, I just know this, $60. So the markup that uh, Mr. Franklin does for the dresses is a $60 markup. Now, is $60 the final answer? No, that's how much he marks it up, which means that we have to add it to the original cost of the dress. So the cost of the dress was $40. We add the $60 markup for a total of, you got it, $100 per dress. All right, so let's do 110.2, which is going to be a mark down. Would someone like to read it for me? I'm just kidding. All right, so Sybil saw a coat that was marked down 30%. The original price was $80. What was the price of the coat now? So I'm going to take my notes again. And I have a markdown of 30% with the original price of $80. I'm going to do my is of statement. What is 30% of 80? And that's going to tell me my discount. So what is 30% of $80? Now this one I'm going to do is a fraction. Remember that percent symbol means we need to either turn 30 into a percent or, or a decimal. Sorry, a fraction or a decimal, and I'm going to do a fraction this time. Percent means out of 100, so I'm going to put this number over 100, and then I can drop my percent symbol. Actually, for time and board space, I'm going to just erase it. And this is supposed to be 80. 
All right, so now I have 3 30 one hundredths times 80. I recognize that I can reduce this to 3 tenths times 80. And then I can also cross reduce these. This becomes 1. This becomes $8. 3 times $8 is $24. That was pretty easy, huh? So the reduction in cost, the 30% off is $24. So now we're going to take $80 and we're going to subtract $24 to find out our new selling price. And we get $56 is the new cost. Not too bad, right? All right, this next one's a little bit more difficult. And this is when we have a sale price and we have to figure out the original price, okay? So the problem says the sale price of the ring was $120. It had been marked down 40% for the sale. What was the original price of the ring? So it had been marked down 40% and the sale price, so they already subtracted the discount, is $120. So the question we need to ask ourselves is 60% of the original price is the discounted price. So 60% of the original price is 120 because we have 100% being our total, right? 40% has already been discounted. The, what's left over signifies 60% or represents 60%. So we're going to write 60% of multiplication. The original price, so I'm going to use P, is the discounted price, which is $120. 60% as a decimal is 0 0.6 times P equals 120. Now to get P by itself to find out the original price, I'm going to divide each side by 0 0.6. Those cancel out. 0 0.6 and P equals, this time I'm going to get my handy dandy calculator, one, oops, 120 divided by 0.6 is $200. So the original price was $200. So let's test that. If we take 40% from $200, we could say 200 times 0.4 equals, and 200 times 0.4 equals, that equals $80, which means the discount was $80. $200 minus $80 is $120. So we did, we got the right answer. Good job, guys. I know that you worked really hard on that problem. All right, so remember when we're doing discounted markups, to so remember if we're marking up or down, calculate percent. When we see the percent symbol, we know we need to either turn it to a fraction or decimal, and then we either need to add or subtract our value. Is of statements are very helpful so that we can write out our word problems into an equation. Let me know if you need help.